Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime. I'd like to read you the story of Please Don't Chat to the Bus Driver. It's written by Sharon Road and Jill Newton. Um, and it's quite a funny story about what might happen if you talk too much to the bus driver. I hope this bus is not as naughty as Naughty Bus. Here we go. Oh look, it starts with a map. Can you see that map? Hmm, I love a map. I wonder where it's going. wonder what we'll see. Look, there's a tree here. Oh, and a roundabout. Some more trees. Might be a map of the story. Please don't chat to the bus driver. Here comes the bus. Up you go, pig. But please don't chat to the bus driver. I won't, said Pig. On he gets. But she did. And the bus missed the stop. Look, can you see? All those people, they don't look very happy, do they? Oh dear me, it is a bit like our naughty bus, isn't it? Here comes the bus that missed the stop. Up you go, croc. But please don't chat to the bus driver. I won't, said Croc. Do you think we will? Yeah. But he did. And the bus hit a post box. Oh no. Can't talk to the bus driver. Can't talk to any driver. Here comes the battered. Why is it battered? Oh yeah, crash into the post box. Here comes the battered bus that missed the stop. Up you go, rabbit. But please don't chat to the bus driver. I won't, said the rabbit. But he did. And the bus driver fell fast asleep. You can't sleep when you're driving. Remind me not to go on his bus. Oh. Now the bus is late because they've been asleep. Here comes the late battered bus that missed a stop. Up you go, Fox. But please don't chat to the bus driver. I won't, said the fox. Do you think he will? I think he will too. But he did. Not only did he chat to him, but look. Looks like he's telling him jokes. And the bus driver fell on his horn laughing. Honk, 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 blared the horn. Here comes the noisy late battered bus that missed a stop. Up you go, hen. But please don't chat to the bus driver. I won't, said Hen. Do you think she will? But she did. And the dizzy bus driver span round and round and round the roundabout. Here comes the spinning, noisy, late, battered bus that missed a stop. Up you go, cow. But please don't chat to the bus driver. I won't, said the cow. But she did. And the bus went the wrong way. How are all those people going to get to the stop if the bus is going the wrong way? Oh, it's not going very well. Oh, here comes the lost spinning Noisy, late. Why was he late? Oh, yeah, he fell asleep. Battered bus that missed a stop. Up you go, frog. But please don't chat to the bus driver. I won't, said frog. But he did. And the bus didn't. Uh, shot over a hump and lost a wheel. 
Look, there it goes. How are they all going to get home? The limping. Oh, what does limping mean? Yeah, when you've got a poorly leg and you're kind of not going very smoothly. The limping, lost, spinning, noisy, late, battered bus that missed a stop stopped. All out, shouted the bus driver and everybody scrambled out. Look, can you see? Here comes the next bus. Up you go everyone and remember, don't chat to the bus driver. We won't, said the pig, the croc, the rabbit, the fox, the hen, the cow, and the frog. But they did. Oh, I hope it has a better journey than the rest of the first bus. Look, there's the map again. Can you see all the animals that went on the bus? Where they are? There's the roundabout look, where they all went round. Oh, I don't think that I would like to go on that bus, do you? I wouldn't want the bus driver to fall asleep or crash into the post box or have an, um, get lost and go the wrong way. I think our naughty bus might do that. I hope you've had a really, really lovely day. Um, we've loved seeing all of your um, Evidence Me posts come in. Um, if you haven't read your school book or any other book that's at your house to, to a grown-up, please can you make sure that you read tonight um, or today or in the morning um, to a grown-up and get them to write it in your diary that you've um, read because we would love to see um, how many and maybe practice your tricky words today as well. Okay, have a lovely evening, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.